We're going to turn on the propane in the fridge at the camp. First thing you do is you look at this little gauge here. It's clear now because I already turned it on, but usually there's a little red flag in there that'll mean the propane is off or that a tank has run out. Either way, the pressure's gone. So you look at this little de gauge here, and it'll show you that the supply, there's a little arrow here. It says supply, you can barely see it, is this one over here, this tank, the big 40-pounder. Here's a little 20-pounder. So you just turn both of these on to the open position. That way. And propane will come out of this tank until it runs out. Then it will automatically switch over to this tank, at which point you will look here and see that the flag is red and know that you then have to turn this handle to the supply. Now it's the supply is this way and it's pulling off of the 20 pound tank. But I want to run the 40 pound tank down so we're going to go back to that for the supply. Okay. That's, that's clear. You'll see a little bit of red when it's empty. Alright, for the fifth time. I'm going to come in here. It usually takes a minute or two for the propane to work its way through. And I usually just check the stove to make sure that the propane is flowing. And you can see it is. So that's good. And then we're going to go to the fridge, which there's a little panel down here that holds, that does fall off a little bit. It broke that tab there. Anyway, you make sure that here's a flame, and you make sure that the end with the little notch on it is on the flame. This is your thermostat, this button over here. And you want to start this so that the little notch is at like 6 o'clock or in between the 2 and the 3. Then while holding, you have to push and hold this button. It pushes in. Push and hold it. And then you will strike this little button here while holding it. And then it's just like lighting a grill, a little spark a thing. Uh, hit the, activate the spark in the back. And then you can see in the back, let me just clear some of this out of the way, is a little mirror, and you'll see it light up. Right now you can't see anything, but give it a second. So I'm going to put this down. Actually, I'll put it right here, and we'll see if you can see it light. I don't know. That's, this is a long shot with the cell phone. Okay. Look at that first one. You can just see the tiniest bit of blue light. I'm still holding that first button with the flame on it. You have to let it kind of warm up, much like a... Oh, I don't think you can see it, damn it. There it oh, there it is. Okay, there you can see it now. You have to hold down, keep holding the button. If I let go too soon, it will go out. It has to warm up the element. And then after like 20, 30 seconds, you can let go of it, and it should continue to burn. If it goes out, just redo it and hold it longer. You know, it looks like it's going out, see? Let me push it in the, I'm going to push the, back in, the little button with the flame. Let the, see now it's brightening up again. So yeah, it was going to close that little valve, because it hadn't heated it up enough. I'm going to keep it going. And again, that's. Looking at it from kneeling right beside it. I'm still holding down, pushing in the, the flame button. And it's still like that. So now let's try. It's been about maybe another 30 seconds. Let's try letting go again and see if it stays on. Looks like it's going out. Can't tell. Oh, it's still going. Okay. Then you can also, when it is running, every once in a while, up here is the little exhaust pipe. 
you just put your hand over it and you can feel heat rising out of it. Okay, then it takes, I don't know, 12 hours, 6, 8, 10 hours for the thing to cool down. So be patient. And then put this back straight, close it, and you're all set. Fill up your fridge with the essentials and your freezer. Get ice trays. It's good to go. Bye from the cabin.